One more. Here you go. We are going to spend the next day training like Michael B. Jordan did for his new movie, Creed 3. We're going to work out like Mike. We're going to learn stunts and fight choreography. And then we're going to read an actual script with a real actor to see if the Buttery Bros have what it takes to be on the big screen. Michael B. Jordan and his co-star Jonathan Majors look like freaking gladiators in the new movie. So to find out how they got so jacked, we flew to Hollywood to meet with their personal trainer, the wizard behind their physiques, Corey Kanye. I'm the only person that trained Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors. And I've been doing Michael B. Jordan for the last eight, nine years. So for you guys out there that's uh, taking credit for my work, better watch out. Because how Dion had to say, I'm coming. <laughs> Alright, so say we're going up for a role for a movie. Yes. What do I what do I need to work on to to get a hero role? Yeah, so if I was getting you all ready for let's just say Creed, we would do a um, mixture of applied metric work, conditioning work, um, we did traditional weight training work. So what we're gonna try to do today is do all of them at once. So you get a small bit of what we actually did to get ready for the move. So we gotta warm up, so we're gonna get somebody on the jump rope, get somebody on the back rig, and also the roar. And um, that's how we're gonna start drop, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Two minutes on each station, then we're gonna transition to the next where everybody gets to get some work on each individual okay. exercise. For me, you can't have an action movie without fitness. And with fitness, it makes that action movie one of the best movies, number one in the work. I don't mean to toot iron shit. Now for me, the Creed and Rocky franchise has a huge impact in how I forge my life. Watching the film, I can't help but imagine young Heber sitting in front of a TV, watching Rocky training montages, doing push-ups and shadow boxing, which then led to me making feature length documentaries about fitness, which essentially are 90 minute Rocky training montages. So without Rocky, there's probably no buttery bros. We're doing chest and back. We're doing chest, back, and is that, is that the biggest movie muscles to be working on? That's what you call the moving muscles. Moving muscles. Everything from here on up. You go over here to see the legs, which we got legs. You got them. We don't see them. They're moving huh? muscles. You want nice abs, you want big arms, nice chest, and you turn around, you want a big back. Like I said, what's important about the movie is the aesthetic. It's how you look. Making sure that your form looks good, your body looks right, and that you're giving the audience what they need to see to get the ooh wows from them. Thinking about that aspect of looking like you need to look on camera while performing the exercise. Focus on the elbow coming up. You want the elbow thing is going to the ceiling, not just like that. There you go, that's perfect. That looked way better than when you started. Perfect. So we're gonna pick an exercise, whether it's chest, back or shoulders. So we're gonna mix it in with some type of conditioning workout, whether it be burpees, it'll be jumping rope, doing double unders, or it will be shadow boxing. If you try to get ready for a roll and say a month, that month becomes training camp. You're gonna learn how to fight, you're gonna eat, sleep, talk and shit boxing every day. Boxing was a second calling in my previous <laughs> life. <laughs> Run that foot. It's super coordinated when it comes to throwing hands. It's not just about connecting, but you gotta look good because you're on camera. Punch in and turn. And when you come back, always make sure that you have a hand that's protecting your face. See, this is my philosophy. This is your career. If your hands go down, they will run up in your stuff and mess it up. <laughs> It's like about to drop. We're gonna find a rhythm over here. Boom. Hit. Hit. Turn it on. You better grab a stick if somebody. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Now we got the chesticles talking. Hey. Pebbles. So basically today's workout was an example of the incremental workouts. 30 to 45 minutes being able to do warming up with some cardiovascular work, then going into a mixture of strength training and also conditioning training at the same time because we have such a small window to get the most out of it. Oh, man. Boy, sounds like a Lamaze class in here. What is Lamaze class? I keep hearing you say that. <laughs> being a celebrity trainer also has to work on himself and his transformation in the last few months has been nothing short of incredible. Poor out here looking like an action figure. That's the goal, brother. Yeah, looking like an action figure. But I say, you know what, I'm gonna do the work. And when I started to deal with myself, started to open up my mind, my heart, and focus on Corey, I started to see things transform and unfold. I want to be remembered for inspiring the masses. I want people to say, you know what, because of you, I became my best self. Train, train, train the condition. Confuse the body every day, all day. <laughs> Last thing we're gonna do is something for the abs. This may hurt, so don't try this at home. So every time I hit your stomach with the ball, you blow out. <laughs> All right, so when I come in, you go. 
comes off his back. Oh yeah, that was a good that shot. Was the most exact same feeling. You hit the stomach with that at the same time. Except he wasn't prepared for it, so he took it over. In my opinion, I'd rather take a head shot than a body shot. shot. You caught the glove on your face before? Ah, I caught fists. <laughs> I caught fists before. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to get punched in the face, son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you can move. You can go with it. Yeah, you can move. What if, what if you don't, what if, what if, okay, so you got your hands up and you ready, you ready to fight. And I go like this. See when you flinch? Yeah. When you did that. I, I, I wanted to make you flinch to go over here so I get you to open a bit, little bit more. And I do this. And you wouldn't even know. And then you sleep. Yeah, I was tired anyway. That was, was well rested. They're going to see the storyline of Creed. 100%. But you know what every man leaving out there saying? I don't look like that. Yeah. That just inspired me. They said, I'm going to get right. You know how many men went to the gym the next day? You know how many women started working out? So to me, film and fitness, they go hand in hand. I'll do something brief for yourself. Tap into your inner Creed. Workout data provided by Whoop. Shout out to the Whoop. I was an 8.6 strain. I was in level zone four, but mostly zone three. We're Training about... like a movie star, 7.5 strain. Most of the time it's zone three. Let's slide on over to the, let's slide on over to the butter game. We got, we got the most slept last night. Bo Moore out of Australia. He's got 27 activities, 11.1 average day strain, box fitness, manual labor, and spin. Spin, okay. All right, Bo, slide on my DMs and we'll hook you up with a brand new Whoop strap. Use code Pancakes to join the Butter Gang on Whoop, biggest community on there. Now we got that out of the way. Yeah, we, we got the training. So what's up next? Up next, we got stunts. We got to learn how to be stuntmen. If we're gonna become actors, we should really kind of learn how to do some of our own stunts. Yeah, Tom Cruise does his own stunts. Will Smith doesn't. He slaps people. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan does yeah, his own yeah, stunts. Yeah. So yeah. to teach us a little bit about stunt work. We, we brought in a couple of uh, Hollywood stunt actors slash trainers. What's up? Right. You just uh, did the biggest stunt of all. Yeah, <laughs> this was wild. So tell us a little bit about what you guys do. We both have been doing stunts since 2014, uh, but we also train actors and performers for film. Uh -huh. And that's primarily what we do now. The number one thing you'll need to know if okay. you're getting into stunts is how to fall down safely. We have to safety first, let's yeah, get out there. there. There you go. Don't forget the mouthpiece. There's a number of different types of falls that you guys will need to know. First would be like a back fall, a forward fall, a side fall, and then a rotational fall. So if I'm doing a back fall, I wanna get my center of gravity close to the ground. The impact is taken on by your butt and your, uh, your back muscles and everything like that. So I'm just gonna step back, sit down. So you fall onto your butt first? Yeah, so turn forward. A front fall. <laughs> So let's work on a side fall now. Take this leg, send it that way, and I'm gonna reach out and land on my lap. Oh, hey. wow. Ready? I don't know what to do with this hand. That's all you need to sell, just the camera. Sell the camera, that's it. Also... I think that one's good. Yeah. This is called a taco. So taco. for a back fall, if you were trying to sell it a little bit more like you got hit going upwards, Okay. You wouldn't, yeah, exactly. You wouldn't just like, well, back, like <laughs> you gotta go up. Right? The first progression is to get low and then reach back with your arms and then get up onto your shoulders. Some sound design helps too. <laughs> Last thing we'll have you guys do before we get into some bullet hits, basically it's what we call a scorpion. So imagine somebody was coming, jumping from the top and they were gonna like hit me with an axe or something, I would go. Got it. <laughs> oh jeez. From there, just imagine there's a wire pulling you straight down. Go. Better, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that's all? Yeah. 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 Let's go. I'm buying it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I can take a hit. Did that read? Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I think we need a little more like noise. Uh, uh, let's move on to some bullet hits. These are super important. Oh, okay. oh yeah, he's saying bullet hits. Okay, yeah. Because uh -huh. we've been training for boxing movies, but there is going to be a time where we're getting shot at. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Hey. 
Uh, I don't know if that red. So that's that's what we call the stuntman swim. The, the bullets would just go right through you, like yeah. for the most part, right? Uh, but the stuntman swim is, oh, I got shot. Ah! Yeah. So we want to avoid that a little bit and just think about like individual, like bam, and that rips you back, and then you pretty much ragdoll. Some sound design helps too. A couple headshots. Oh. So since she's right there, if she shoots me, my head goes back and then limp. Right? Okay. Oh. Smiling at the end, I don't know if that is. <laughs> I fell out of frame. Yeah. Once you die, you're supposed to like bury your face and stuff like that. So you don't want to be like facing camera like. <laughs> yeah. Academy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Normally, if I was gonna punch somebody in the face, you'd want to aim for their jaw because uh, the jaw will like basically rattle their nervous system. Everything goes limp. They drop. Right. For this, it won't read if I punch her in the jaw. It'll look like a hit her in the neck. So we got to aim up a little bit. So I'm gonna aim just above her eyebrows, and I'm also not gonna be aiming for right here. I need it to read. So I'm gonna be aiming through her. Okay. So as I line up. I make sure we're all squared off. I'm going to draw the bow and arrow back just like this, kind of calling my shot right here. Uh -huh. From here, I'm gonna send it just above her eyebrows. She reacts. That's a punch. Ready? Here you go. Oh. Whoa, bro, that's illegal. Where's the pain, right? Uh -huh. So if I get shot in the shoulder, you wouldn't just kind of be like, ah, like you'd grab your shoulder, right? Uh -huh. If I get popped right in the nose, what are you gonna do? You're gonna grab it. If, of course, and yeah, in action. <laughs> okay. Oh. A little more comical. Shite show Bob over here. <laughs> okay, yeah. Scene. Scene. Oh, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. Jab, right there. I'm gonna parry yep. over the top, and then I'm gonna come up and hook you right here, right? To see if we had what it takes to do our own stunts, we choreographed a fight scene and let Haley and Josh determine which of us would get the part. And then you do the taco. I'd love to see it. The camera for that last part needs to either be here or there. Okay. Oh yeah. So think about it like this. I'm trying to paint a straight line this way, right? Okay, straight so, line. And you have to go underneath it. That's it, yep. And then you're coming back for a haymaker, but I catch you. Oh, oh God. And <laughs> and he got hit and he was like, <laughs> like meow, meow. We have one final thing we need to figure out. Yeah. Who's the star student? I'm gonna let Haley figure that one out. <laughs> you raised the head. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! I got the part! <laughs> It was the last bit that did it for me. So yeah. We'll keep you in mind. Oh, yeah. We'll keep you in mind. mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll keep you in mind. I'll see you in the next okay. one. We've trained. We know how to take punches. What else we got to learn? That leaves lines and dialogue, the most important aspect of, of, of fighting and okay, acting. Okay, so we have a dialogue coach here locally. Yeah, yeah. He's really sought after. I think he could just fit us in tonight. Let's uh, go find him. Let's go meet him. Yeah. Let's go. We're going to do, well, listen, we're going to do right. some acting. We're in my home. And we're gonna do some acting. Uh, we're in my mansion. When you have a house that has 25 rooms, is there a manor? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> King of the castle, man of the manor. <laughs> so yeah, I, we were here in LA, so yeah. we figured we hit up our our most Despian prestigious friend. actor friend, Brian Callen. So he's gonna teach us how to read lines, how to really- I'm not gonna teach you how to read lines, I'm gonna teach you how to hit your mark, look the other actor in the eye, and tell the truth. Okay. One page from Creed. He's gonna play Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, he's gonna play Creed. Done. Typecasting is where it's at, so. <laughs> first rule, first first rule of acting, don't worry about the lines. Worry about the intention. What are you doing here? I'm here to try to get this guy to coach me. That's all I want you to think about. Career. Yeah. You are the young Jedi, that's Obi-Wan. I want you to train me. I need somebody solid, and who else better to go to? You at least owe me that. I can tell by the way you talk, that at least you have some brains and went to school. Why would you want to pick a fighter's life when you don't have to? If Apollo was around, he would tell you. 
That too. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. Well, he ain't around. I've been fighting my whole life. I ain't got no choice. It's always about a choice. I was in the ring. I saw how it went down. That fight should have been stopped. I should have stopped it. Maybe he wanted to go out like a fighter. Maybe you did exactly what he wanted. I think you'd rather be here talking to you. Okay, so that's a demon you've been... So that demon, he's been living that with that demon this whole time. That's something you've made peace with. He has not. Yeah, it's such a cool way to like yeah. hear him look at these angles and, and the stories. Analysis, yeah, man, and bring yeah. it back to like Greek mythology. It is, like it's yeah. always about Greek mythology. Yeah. It's look at this young man and he has no idea what he's asking. Okay. You are here to save him, like you want to save everybody. Boxing breaks them all. And you will be forgotten, and you will be broken. And nobody gives a shit. And if you're asking me, you want to look at my scars, and the fact that I wake up with headaches all the time, and I can't remember shit, and I got nothing to show for it but this dingy spot, <laughs> boxing. Did you see that? Do you understand? That was incredible. You understand? You're there. You're understand? like in it right now. I'm not even doing it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Take your time. I'm trying to give you the subtext. This is a light work. Do you light see how much there is in acting? Yeah. You see how much that goes into the every line and every the... motivation? That's why when you watch those great actors, you believe them. Yeah. And you believe them because they're telling the truth. Yeah. Even though somebody else wrote the lines. It's a craft. And I love doing this because people realize how <coughs> hard it is. Yeah. Start again. I want you to train me. He's going to say, you got options. Look at you. You're educated. Don't worry about the lines. Just look at him and go, you're not a boxer, man. Action. I want you to train me. I need somebody solid in my corner. And who better than you? I can tell that you're smart and you've been to school, but... You shouldn't be a fighter. You're not a boxer. I've so. been fighting my whole life. I have no choice but to fight. Everybody has a choice. I had a choice when your dad was in that ring and he got killed, so I'm not gonna have that same thing happen to you. Maybe he wanted that. Maybe he wanted to go out like a soldier, like a warrior on a shield. Maybe you gave him exactly what he wanted. I'm not gonna help you. You're not a boxer, so. Maybe I'll not see yet, you. but I have that in me. And I'll be at Mickey's tomorrow at seven. And I hope you come. Hold on, that was good. <laughs> Dude, that was a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, the Buttery Brothers are not bad, dude. I had, I had oh, some goosebumps. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, Daddy had some goosebumps. <laughs> Daddy had some goosebumps. Yo, we got some actors we here. We get it? We got oh, it. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, Warner Brothers is. were coming next, That's dude. It. There it is. More black rolls going to white man. There it is. There it is, now, Hollywood. More white guys. More white guys. They ain't getting bar, but it was a good try. <laughs> All right, as you heard, Mr. Callan said, we did not get the part, which kind of breaks my heart, but it didn't come as a surprise. I guess we'll have to just stick to our day jobs of litter boxing fitness and rating pancakes. All right, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.